Hey everyone, today I got some more storage tech for you. What I got today is a new updated one white tileable shulker box loader and this one actually works lossless even on versions with the moving block bug which broke my previous one. But now I finally got some time to fix it and here it is. I tested it with thousands of shulker boxes, it is 100% lossless and yeah it's also one white tileable which makes it great for storage contraptions. And I will of course show you how to build it, how to set everything up, and also how to attach an item filter to it, among other things. So let's just turn this off for a second by locking this hopper, and we're just going to take a look at the previous design right here. Now, the previous design looks very similar as you can see, it is pretty much almost the same, for this one I just modified the existing one, but there are some issues that we have to take into account. First is that, well, as you can see, they glitch out, and that's not a good thing, that's partially because this shulker box right here gets dispensed too fast, that's why we have a second repeater in a vortex right here, and that did not happen in versions before 1.14.20, but now it does happen, and it is quite unfortunate. And the second issue was that shulker boxes sometimes got stuck on top of this observer right here, which of course is an issue, I wasn't able to reproduce it now, but it definitely happened before, and you know, if it happens once, then it means that it can happen again, and hence it's not 100% lossless. And we mitigated that effect, or rather completely eliminated it, by adding an extra hopper right here, and uh, well, I think it's collected, it's completely lossless, and yeah. Just to demonstrate that this works, I have slightly pre-filled shulker boxes. Well, not slightly, there's only 16 items missing. And I'm just going to put a few more in there. And uh, well, as you can see, it does work indeed. We are filtering gunpowder in from the top right here. And everything gets collected and all ends up down here. These shulker boxes are all filled. As you can see, all is filled. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the entire function of this shulker box loader right here. Well, this design is fully functional, it still is very stupid that we cannot rely properly on these redstone components, mostly because of the moving block bug right now, so there is a bug report in the description. Go upload it please, if you upload it the developers will have more attention on it and it will probably be higher on their priority list, and uh, that way we can also have easy shulker attack again. As you can see, the shulker loader just ran out of boxes, and that also gets locked with this top piston right here. And that means that this design cannot break if it ever runs out of boxes. And in addition, we also have the clean front, which my previous design also had. And I think that is a big bonus, and yeah, I think it's very important that you can put in the shulker boxes into one specific dispenser. And well, you get the same ones back, which is pretty good. That way you can have dyed shulker boxes for well specific item types. And well, this is pretty much all there is to say about the shulker loader. It's pretty much foolproof, and yeah, I think I'm going to show you how to build it. Alright, so these are the materials for a single slice, that means a one white piece of the shulker loader right here. These top materials are for the shulker loader itself, and if you want to add an item filter, these are the materials that you're also going to need. Do keep in mind though that you can of course expand the amount of shulker boxes that you have at the bottom and it's simple, just add double chest and then just add hoppers facing like this and that way you have more shulker box capacity for this shulker loader right here. And the item filter is pretty straightforward, I think you know how these things work. Alright, so let's just start with the front of the shulker loader, so we're just going to have our output chest right here, this is where all the shulker boxes end up. And then we're just going to have three hoppers like this, have one salt block right here, two repeaters, both on four ticks, just have one salt block right here, sticky piston, observer facing up, solid block, just have one sticky piston facing in this direction, and put a trapdoor on its side, and open it, that way it will look like this, it will prevent loss with the shulker boxes, have one dispenser facing this way, just another hopper, some more chests, have a salt block right here, and another salt block. Put a temporary block right here so that we can have the hopper facing down. Have a comparator, one piece of glass right here so that this piston doesn't get powered at single strength of one. One dust, two dust, one piece of glass, another dust, then place one sticky piston right here. Place one redstone block, 
temporary block, hopper facing that way, and break that block. This is the shuckle order itself, but of course you're going to want to close this off. So just like this, and if you use it in a single slice, well, that is pretty much it. Now the item filter. Just have some temporary blocks right here, and place these hoppers facing right up against right here. Place one block right here. Slab. Repeater. Have a comparator. Put a solid block right here. Just put some temporary block, remove that. Torch glass and redstone dust on top and this is your what white tileable overflow protection item filter now of course you know how item filters work in the top hopper from which you are reading you're just going to have four filler items and then some filter items and those are going to trickle down as you can see and yeah everything is going to work out exactly the way it's supposed to now here's an example how you would set this up for a shulker box storage system with filters and it is fairly simple, so as you can see there's just 8 of these right next to each other and there's all the tech rock item filters and uh, then all the items just go in here, get aligned on the chest and get under the slab and you know, item alignment, all that stuff. There's one thing you do need to keep in mind with these sugar box loaders though is that when they run out you somehow need to trigger them again so what I suggest doing is just removing these blocks right here that are usually next to this hopper because actually they don't really do anything in terms of preventing the sugar box from going out they're just there to look cool and uh, then just place redstone dust on top of it. The reason we are not just leaving the blocks there and then putting redstone dust on top of it is because this hopper powers this block for the item filter, which would also power the threats on dust, and yeah, that wouldn't exactly be very good. So yeah, that's why we have this right here. We just have a button, and that way we can dispense some shulker boxes whenever we see fit. So let's just put one right in here. As you can see, it's not dispensing automatically. So guess what? We just press the button, and there it gets dispensed, and do that for every single one. And then you have your clean front and you can just add some item frames and some items and basically just label all of these individual tiles. And well, I really like the clean interface. That's what's very important to me because usually the things look messy and that way you can keep it clean and still have a fully functional lossless sugar box loader. Alright, well, I hope you found this useful, because I certainly think it is very useful and something important to have. I was unable to find a design on YouTube that actually works in the current version. And I'm recently starting to have fun in storage tech again, so I guess you will be seeing some more storage tech in the coming days or maybe weeks. But anyways, thank you very much for watching, I hope you found this useful, and uh, well, make sure to subscribe because I have more stuff like this that is very interesting and useful, and Bye!